Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm going to be your nurse today. Um, I'm going to be doing your assessment and I'm also going to be going over some questions with you, okay? Before we begin, I'm going to ask you your name and date of birth. My name is John Doe and my birthday is 1-16-1965. Okay, and can you tell me where you are and what year it is? It is 2021 and I'm at Brandon Regional Hospital. The next thing I would do is observe the, the patient's general appearance and any signs of distress. All right, thank you. So can you tell me a little bit about your home life and do you have a support system? Yep, I live with my wife and my daughter. Me and my wife work full time and my daughter is in school. They're my support system. They definitely help me um, whenever I need help. They're aware of you know any health conditions that I have and um, they're both able to help me get around and get my medications. I would say that they're a really good support system. Okay, it's good. Um, it's good that you have that. It's really important to have a good support system in place, um, especially with your transition from the hospital to home and just your overall uh, healing process. So the next thing I'm going to do is assess your IV just to ensure there's no kinks, soreness, redness, um, irritation, anything like that. Are you feeling any soreness or irritation at that site? No, not right now. Okay, good. It looks great. It's important to look for kinks or any redness, pain, or irritation at the site. This is, this could indicate that there might be an issue, um, such as it's kinked, or um, there could be some kind of irritation. We want to make sure it's in working condition because that's where you get a lot of your medication. And also, we want to make sure that there's no risk for infection. So if you look um, and see any of these things or feel these things, just let me know, okay? All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to your lungs and your heart. Are you having any trouble with your breathing? It does hurt a little bit when I breathe, but not too bad. That can be normal with rib fractures because the muscles used for breathing pull on the ribs. It is important to use the incentive spirometer, which I brought for you. An incentive spirometer is a device that measures how deeply you can breathe in. I'll show you how to use it and let you demonstrate it for me. Okay, great job. It is important to use the incentive spirometer, especially in your case for rib fractures, because it helps you take slow, deep breaths to expand and fill your lungs with air. This helps prevent lung problems such as pneumonia. Do you have any chest pain right now? No, I'm not having any chest pain except for when I take a deep breath or exhale. Okay, this is also a symptom that could be associated with your rib fractures. There's also um, other symptoms that you're going to want to look out for that could indicate that there is a, um, like, you know, an underlying cardiac event happening, such as um, discomfort and pain that lasts for more than a minute or a couple minutes. Um, Weakness, dizziness, uh, pain or discomfort in the jaw, neck, or back, uh, discomfort or pain in one or both arms, and shortness of breath. If you um, feel any of these or experience them, you're going to want to let us know right away. This could indicate that there is an underlying card cardiac event happening, and we're going to want to intervene and address this to make sure that there's nothing happening. Um, so let us know as soon as possible if you're experiencing these symptoms. So the next thing I'm going to do is listen to your stomach and listen to your bowel, um, examine your stomach and listen to your bowel sounds. I may listen to each quadrant for up to five minutes. This is normal because if I do not hear any bowel sounds at first, I need to listen for a longer period of time to confirm that there really are no bowel sounds present. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and listen. Everything sounds great. When was your last bowel movement? My last bowel movement was yesterday in the evening. Okay, and do you have any nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea? No, nope, my bowel movement was good. I don't have any diarrhea, and I do not have any nausea or vomiting. Okay, and have you been urinating more frequently than you than usual? Or and can you also tell me how often you you, you usually urinate? I haven't been urinating more frequently than usual, and I usually urinate about four to five times from when I wake up in the morning to when I go to bed. Um, it just really depends on how much I drink. Okay, when did you last urinate and did you experience any pain with that urination? I urinated about two hours ago and I did not uh, experience any pain. Okay, um, I'm going to monitor your intake and output while you're, you're here. Uh, I'm going to do this because um, it's just a good way to monitor your kidney function. And I'm going to measure it by measuring the urine in your urinal. Next, I'm going to assess your arms and legs. Are you experiencing any swelling, numbness, or tingling in any of your extremities? 
No, I'm not experiencing any swelling, numbness, or tingling right now. If you experience any of these, please let me know. I'm going to ask you to grip my hand and do something called a foot pump test. And this is how you're going to do it. It's important for me to go through these tests with you to look at your overall strength and ensure that there are no underlying issues. All right, so now that we've done these tests, I'm done with your assessment. Um, is there anything else I can do for you? No, not right now. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Please let me know if there's anything else I can get you.